Okay, so this video is going to show us how to make a farming robot. Okay, what this will look like is this farm over here. Okay, so it's going to grow wheat all around, and in the middle has a pot of water. Okay, then you can harvest that and get um, get the resources. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this kind of big square. When you're over your coding and programming, it's good to make it creative first, and then you get to see what you're making here. So I had my agent, agent's gonna create something like this. He's gonna till the earth, that's what these lines are, like a farm. And then here in the middle is gonna be a bucket of water, um, anything farther and the water won't reach, okay? So I'm gonna fly over here, okay? You can do your best to find an empty spot of land but we can program our robot to make a nice flat area for us rather than us carrying it out manually, okay? So we're gonna open this command here. And then we're going to, let me scroll us over here. Got some good lag here. Okay, call us farm. Now, I'm gonna have my agent move up and then start doing the commands because I want him to destroy down to clear a path for myself, okay? So he's gonna move up then I want him to till downwards. Okay, that's gonna clear and kind of make the ground. And then he's going to place some seeds. So I get this block. I go to items, put this here, find seeds, put that there. Uh, so he tills. Make seeds. Now he's going to place the seeds. I'm going to have him place them down. And then he's going to uh, move forward to onto the next spot. Okay. Then I'm going to put this in a loop here. And we'll do it nine times. So he's going to be moved up first. Till down. Actually, I want him to destroy it down as well just in case there's something in front of him. I want him to destroy a block in his way. I want him to destroy it down. Okay, I think this will work. So if I stand here, right, I could clear those blocks out automatically, um, or I could have my robot do it for me. So I say farm, let's see how this looks. He moves up, he's gonna start planting things. If there's a block in his way, he's destroying it, and he's gonna place uh, a little thing there. Okay, so now I need him to come back and restart it again. I want him to come back to here and then continue his work. And now I'm gonna have him move backwards. Okay, and if I count how many times he was backwards, so nine times, he moved forward nine times. So I move backwards nine times. Then I'm gonna have him move to the left. Uh, and then he's going to repeat this again. Okay, we'll go to loops and put this here, put that in there. Okay, so now if I do this nine times, he will make a nine long and a nine wide type of thing here. Okay, so let me reset this so we can see what it looks like. my agent so there is some round some ground here in the way put my agent right here and I say farm so if there's a block in his way he's just drawing down and clearing the path he resets and continues he'll do this for a nine by nine And the reason I had to destroy down because sometimes there's not always clear land. And we're going to make it clear by doing destroy down. That's why he's just above the surface. Okay. While he's doing this, you obviously can be off looking for resources. The range is about 80 blocks. So if you get 80 blocks away from your, your robot, he will stop working. Just so you guys know. Okay. And then he's going to reset. I think he does one more. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Yep, there's the last one. 
it. You just stop there. So now what I like to do is rather than running the code again to, to put water there, uh, I'm going to make another command and then add it. Because that took a long time for him to do it. And I don't want to run the command, the whole command again um, just to test out the water part. So I'm going to call this w for now. Okay. And what I want to do, this command, I want him to go this way and come to the middle here and put a bucket of water right there. So what I want him to do, he's going to go right one, two, three, four, five. It's here. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Five and then four up. So agent move right five. Then he's going to move forward four. Let me just check my notes here, make sure that is correct. Yep. Then he's going to, I want him to destroy the stuff below him. I need to move down a little bit. And I need him to destroy downwards because he has to make a hole in the ground. Where's my destroy command? I'm gonna put that there. So it moves right, moves up, he moves down, destroys down, and then I need to set his inventory. I'm gonna duplicate this. I need him to get the water bucket. Oops, that's not a water bucket. A water bucket, and then he's going to place it down. Okay, let's see if this works. And I'm just going to run this command from here to test it. W. Whoops. I messed that up. Oh, I didn't move forward by one. All right, so I'm going to do that right now. Oops. I'm going to put my agent back where he was. That's why I'm kind of testing this in parts. Because as you can see, it's very easy to mess up. Come back. I'm going to put this block back there. OK, let's try this again. I could put this here and test it every single time, but I want to do that. I want to just test this part. Let's try it again. W. There we go. And now your farm is complete. Eventually, these things will start growing and start making food. How do we make this grow faster? Who knows? What? Bone meal. Bone meal. OK, so now to make it go even faster, we can add an extra command here. Duplicate. Make this bone meal. Add another place down. So now right after he places the seeds, he's going to place some bone meal also down. And they can also continue the pattern. So let's move over here and see what that looks like. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it right here. No, actually, let's do it. Let's do it right here. Yeah. Turn him to the left and make my farm. Here we go. So now, see the little, that kind of green stuff there? He's putting down bone meal each time, and that's going to make my crops grow a little bit faster. All right, and that's how you code a farm bot. I'll put the codes up here. So you guys can screenshot them. And actually, you know, this is going to go down here. OK. So this is going to go down there. So here's the top part you guys can screenshot. And here is the second part you guys can screenshot. And that's how we create a farm robot.